Hi, I'm Mel Castellino, Miss India 1964. I'm a woman, I'm a girl, this is my story. It feels good that even, you know, after 50 years, people still remember that uh, I was the first Miss India. It's a huge, huge honor and with that comes greater responsibilities because slowly you start to experience a level of worthiness and then gradually as the journey continues, you start glowing with a sense of purpose. Whenever I want, I turn on my charm. You're like numb for a second, I think, because everything's just like flashing in front of you. And Miss World 1994 is Miss India. Every little girl has these little dreams where you want to be a princess. I think Femina Miss India did that for me. With a flash of my smile. The legacy of uh, Femina Miss India is extraordinary. I always call the Femina Miss India the paradigm shift in my life. It's when from being just any other kid, I became Miss India. The most memorable moment was the moment it was announced and the winner is. I am very proud to have been a Femina Miss India Universe. When I won, my life changed because it was surreal. I woke up in the morning after winning the crown and I was on the front page of the Times of India. I still have that cutting with like marks of my teacup on it. It was the best day of reading the newspaper when I saw my face there. And a flake of my curls Nothing is impossible For us girls I reach for the stars I die for the pearl Nothing is impossible Being part of the Miss India legacy, what can I say? Euphoria is the word. Being a part of this legacy was always a dream and it has finally come true. It's very humbling at the same time. It fills me with pride because it seemed like too big a dream to dream. It always feels magical to be part of a legacy because it's just the most special thing ever. I reach for the stars. I die for the Being a girl is very fascinating to wear that crown and walk Nothing around and to be called a princess is just amazing. Being a part of this, I feel immensely happy and so grateful. It was always a dream to reach here. It was like my little princess moment, dream which I actually always wanted to live. With a flash of my smile and It is a legacy that I'm carrying forward of being Miss India. It is being a brand ambassador of the country. It's such an honor to be a part of this legacy because not every girl gets to experience this. It's a rare, unique, and extraordinary experience. And I think Femina Miss India has changed my entire life. Miss India, a dreamer and achiever. That's who I am. I've never felt so proud ever before in my life. In 50 years, 150 women out of the whole country of 1.25 billion have actually got the chance to wear the crown. 
Thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. Thank you, Miss India, for this beautiful journey. I just want to say a big thank you to the platform that they offer. I want to say thank you to Times Group. Times of India has just been absolutely phenomenal. I'm still one of the Times girls. That's never going to change. I'm still a Femina girl. That's never going to change. Really like to thank the entire Times of India team, the Miss India organization. I would like to thank the Times Group and Miss India organization. Thank you so much. I would like to thank Femina Miss India team and a big thank you to Miss India.